Review Lesson 18, we will be comparing fractions and decimals. So the steps to compare fractions and decimals. You need to convert the fractions to decimals and then determine which decimal is larger. So all I have to do is convert this fraction into a decimal. So 3 tenths is the same as 3 tenths, right? That's how we write it. And we know that 4 tenths is bigger than 3 tenths. Next, 45 hundredths. I'm going to make 8 tenths into a decimal. Now let's look at this. If I were to compare these, which one's bigger? Well, I know that tenths are bigger than hundredths. So 8 tenths or 80 hundredths is bigger than 45 hundredths. Okay? I have 13 hundredths. I need to write this fraction as a decimal. And now I can see that one whole and two tenths is bigger than 13 hundredths because I have a whole here. So that is going to be bigger. Again, 35 hundredths, three tenths. I'm going to first write my fraction as a decimal and now I can compare. If I write them directly under each other and I compared from left to right, I see this three is bigger than the zero. So it is bigger. Okay. Now this one's a little bit tricky because I cannot convert this fraction the way it is into a decimal. I have to make an equivalent fraction because I need a 10 or a 100 in the denominator to write this as a decimal. So I know I can go from 25 to 100 really easily. I just think quarters. So there are four quarters and a dollar and a dollar is 100 cents. Three times four is 16. So 16, no. 3 times 4 is 12. Sorry, guys. 3 times 4 is 12. So I have 12 hundredths. Now let's look at it. Stack them. Which is bigger? The 4 is bigger than the 1. Remember, we compared left to right. So 40 hundredths is bigger than 12 hundredths. Again, which is larger? So 7 fourteenths, it does not have a 10 or a 100 in the denominator. So I cannot write it the way it is as a decimal. I also know that I can't get to 10 or 100 from 14 very easily. So I need to put this in simplest form. Remember simplest form, you write the factors of both, num of both numbers, your numerator and denominator. You circle the greatest common factor and you divide by that greatest common factor. So 7 divided by 7 is 1, 14 divided by 7 is 2. Now 1 half I know I can get into tenths really easily because 2 times 5 is 10 and 1 times 5 is 5. Now 5 tenths I can write as a decimal and I can compare. 7 tenths is greater than 5 tenths. For homework tonight, I want you to tell me which is larger between all five of these decimals and fractions. Thank you so much for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.